everyone, in our earlier video with Liana, Amelia, and I, we did a little craft, a little person. Here's my person, here's Amelia's person. She did a little princess tiara. She's got her happy face, her brave face, which I love that she did a brave face. Um, and then if you keep turning it, she's got an angry face. This is her angry face. And we were in this craft time, we were talking about different emotions. And so I'm here with our emotions chart behind us. Um, and I talked about this book that we do during our morning circle time or the girls and I morning circle time. And it's from one of our Kiwi boxes, Kiwi Co. Press, Olives Full of Feelings. And I said that I would do a separate video to just read through this story. So that's what I'm gonna do in this short video. Everyone is full of feelings, just ask Olive. Sometimes Olive feels happy. She feels happy blowing bubbles on a sunny day, laughing with her friends or hugging grandpa. When do you feel happy? So you can talk with your kids. When do you feel happy? Normally in circle time, um, the girls would answer when they feel most happy. Sometimes Olive feels sad. Olive feels sad when she can't find her toy, when she falls and gets hurt, or when she's not included. When do you feel sad? Sometimes Olive feels scared. Olive feels scared when she hears loud noises. when she thinks she's lost, or when she tries to go down a very tall slide. Slide down, Olive, you can do it. When do you feel scared? Sometimes Olive feels surprised. Olive feels surprised when she gets a special present, when she plays hide and seek, or when she sees a magic trick. When do you feel surprised? Olive knows that while some feelings can make you feel good, like silly, excited, content, others can make you feel not so good, disgusted, angry, and sick. Every feeling is okay because it's a part of you. How do you feel today? So that was the story. Um, we'll use this in morning check-in, particularly in the beginning of the pandemic. Um, we were doing it every day and saying, how do you feel today? Uh, what makes you sad? What makes you excited? What makes you happy? What makes you angry? Um, and it was a great way for the girls and I to process how we were feeling that day. Um, we would also use our feeling chart and pick out different emotions. Um, this particular one from, what is it? Generation Mindful from Gen Men is, um, talks about high energy, unpleasant feelings of being angry or pleasant, high energy feelings like happy or pleasant, low energy feelings like calm or unpleasant, low energy feelings like sad. Um, and then a variety of emotions. So we talk about that and it's definitely a good tool that we're bringing back out um, as we look towards going back to daycare as we look towards re-entering into um, the world and you know get questions of, no, mommy, I'm scared. I don't wanna go back to school. Or are we doing this because the virus is over? Or what are those people doing on TV? Or why, you know, there are a lot of questions that can come up even at my girl's age. And I know many of you have children in variety of ages, older, um, and can comprehend a little bit more of what's going on in the political sphere, um, in justice rights actions, protests and things things like that. And so um, it's a really great time to revisit what are some of the different fundamental emotions that we have and can we talk about them as a family. So I hope that this uh, helps at least crack open the conversation. It's important that we remember that emotions are gifts from God, right? Um, we have these beautiful things that help us understand the world around us and that Jesus himself was in his full humanity and full divinity still experienced a variety of emotions. We have scripture passages and stories where Jesus wept over in the midst of grief over the loss 
cross of a friend where Jesus was enraged and angry and flipped tables. Um, I can only imagine we hear I can only imagine how excited Jesus must have been um, in seeing his friends and um, performing some of the miracles that he did. And, and we also hear about Jesus having a wonderful time at a party at the wedding in the Cain of Galilee. Um, or we hear about Jesus and his beloved disciple, um, these acts of service, these acts of love, these acts of compassion, and so many ways in which Jesus really fully embodied the different emotions um, and showed us ways that we can express our emotions in healthy in healthy manners. So I hope that this aids in your conversation with your family to just reflect a little bit and share about how you're doing, how are you feeling um, during this time of so many changes. So God bless you all, be well, um, and, and share. Share your feelings, share in the comments below, share what kind of creations you did with our feelings little person chart um, and any other resources that you have to offer. Bye.